I'm Tangled in Dolls and um, over on my Instagram account I had a question about the Tangled series Rapunzel doll that came, that comes with the, with Cassandra and that set was sold at the Disney store. And the question was, if you take down the braid, will the wire in the braid um, cause a bald spot? So I'm going to do my best to answer that and I've got some Rapunzel dolls here to help me. Okay, so here's the dolls I have that are going to help me answer that question. And this is the one I'll actually be using to um, take the braid apart and look at that wire. And she's from JCPenney. Um, and then this one is actually the one that came with Cassandra. Uh, right now she's on a made to move body, but um, I do have her original body. So she's from the Disney store. And then these two are from JCPenney as well. And I just um, have them here as comparisons to show that um, the one I'm going to be using really isn't that much different. Um, but I actually did find something interesting about her body, so I'm excited, excited to share that. But let's go ahead and look at the doll that did come with Cassandra from the Disney store. Um, I just want to show you her head. It's very nicely rooted. There are no bald spots while the braid is intact. Um, really nice soft hair. It's just, um, really, really nice. N um, you know, nothing bad with it. And there's what her braid looks like, and I have painted the beads here. Um, but so that's that's her, her head, her hair, and this is her body, and it's from the Disney store, and it does say that on the back, it says Disney store. Um, so I just wanted to show her the difference, the only difference here between the, the Disney store body and the JCPenney one is this um, hip joint, joint right here, the, this joint, it's very flexible, flexible on the Disney store one, you can rotate it, um, it's got really nice movement there. So. The while the one from J.C. Penney actually is is not as it's really stiff that joint is and so really and that's the only main difference and um, you know of course the J.C. Penney ones won't say Disney Store on the back they have like just a, a number and a bunch of writing and so does this this one um, but I just wanted to point that out because this the one I'm, I'll be using is from J.C. Penney. Um, she came with um, her pink dress in the winter, and her winter dress, but um, the back of her body actually does say Disney Store. You can see it there. It does say Disney Store, and she actually does have the Disney Store um, movement, too. So I just thought that was really neat because she, she came from JCPenney, but she has a Disney Store body. And so. Um, and her hair is nicely rooted as well. It's soft. Um, there's a lot there, and there are no bald spots um, on her either. So, um, you know, nice quality doll. Uh, and then, as for the wire that is in the braid, you know, you can use it to bend the to bend the braid if you want to make it a different position. But so, if you do take this apart though, you'll run into the hard glue part down here, the C part, and it is very, very stiff with glue. I mean, it is just, it's stiff. So it would be quite, you know, hard to get the brush through here. You could probably boil wash it or soak it in a Goo Gone to help remove the glue. Um, but you know, that's a process and it could take a few days to get all this glue out. So, um, so I really recommend if you want a, a, a series doll with long hair um, that you know you wouldn't have to deal with the wire. The, the first one that came with the frying pan and Pascal would be a great choice because it, the hair on that one is long and soft and you don't have to deal with this big hard glue end. So, but, um, but I'll go ahead and I'll remove all these, these rubber bands and I will take a brush through it here and um, I'll show you uh, how it looks. All right. All right, I'm going to begin um, removing the rubber bands. So I just got a little scissors here. I'm just going to cut these out as best I can without cutting any of the hair. It's already kind of a challenge to get the bottom one cut because of all that glue. It's just so, so stiff. But once you get, get a little cut, you can just 
you know, twirl that around to remove it. Okay, so the bottom one is removed. And so here, taking this apart. And so it looks like, so here is the wire. It, it's actually, oh, ooh, okay. So what they've done with the wire is they've, it is um, sewn into this yellow uh, cloth right here. So there is the wire. That's what it looks like. So, okay. Not too bad. Like, I, I really think if you just soak this in some goo gone, um, or even boil wash it, um, you could get rid of the stiffness, I think. So, not bad. So let's go on and remove the second band here. Just make a small cut. I'm just going to make one cut, and then it just comes off like that. Okay, and so yeah, the the hair up here is just really soft. No glue at all. Okay, so let's keep cutting. Alright, so we've got two more to go. That's what it looks like. You're getting this really nice wave. If you want to keep her hair wavy, you can do that too. Okay. Let's cut this. Okay, just make one cut and just again unravels. So here's what we've got. Oops, sorry, so far. We've got one left. Um, and there's that wire. There it is. Okay, so let's get. Oh, she actually looks really good with just a big ponytail. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. But um, but I'm gonna keep going for you know, for sake of answering the question. No, do that. So here's the last one. And I'm cutting. Oh. Wrap more tighter at the top. Yes, it seems probably like there's more band-aid or rubber bands. Okay. All right, so I'm just removing this top one. So much. There. Okay. So all the rubber bands are out now. Um, beautiful wave to the hair. See that. Now I will go up and find that wire. So, hmm. it's kind of mess down here. I'm this part, but okay. So here is the wire completely in its full glory. You can see that. Um, it's actually not even, you know, as long as as the hair. The hair goes a little bit longer, but um, so. Here it is up in up in the head. Um, so, mm. oh, okay. So the wire itself at the top. I'm gonna try to so, um, let everyone let, let you see this. There, I, it's held down by two tabs, by two regular, um, you know, like tabs they always put in the hair to hold stuff in. If you can see, there they are. So I'm thinking all you have to do is snip those and the wire will be out. So let me, I will go ahead and snip this out too. So, so okay, so here it is again, the wire. That's what it looks like again. So let me see if I can um, snip these out. So it's just two here. I'm doing my best without I plan to have this doll rerouted anyway, obviously, so I don't care to, I, mean, I didn't care to experiment on her. Um, okay, so I removed the first tab. I'll do the second. Okay, and it's out. The wire is out of Rapunzel's hair. There's the wire. That's it. And let's look at the spot it was in. Um, no, mm -mm, no bald spot at all. Um, not, not really. And 
I mean, you, and of course, the, the tabs are still there, and you can always just push those into the doll head, or you could use pliers to pull them out. So there, this is where the wire was. You can see. And, I mean, you can't really, you can't really tell. Um, it's an excellent rooting job. Really nice. So, there you go. And, you know, she looks just, she looks really good with it. With, um, you know, long wavy hair. I like, I like her. So, that was, that's that. She's still got a beautiful rooted, rooted head of hair. Alright, so, wire's out. Um, no ball spot. So this is it. Um, so let me just take a uh, doll brush, regular doll brush, and you know brush it, go through. So yeah. So once you hit uh, the glue, it kind of it snags and snares, and it might go poofy. So to to save the hair, um, I really recommend uh, boil washing or maybe doing the goo gone too. Um, just to get rid of that stiffness because if I keep, I think if I, if I keep trying to brush it, it's just going to get poofy. Um, I mean, let me see. Well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes. I've had some dolls, um, some Monster High dolls I think I've had. Uh, they, they, the, those dolls are really known for glue head, glue hair. Um, maybe it was them. I forget. But um, I mean, sometimes I'm just trying to say that sometimes you can brush, brush the glue out. But this is a lot. This is a lot of glue. It's just getting, it's just getting puffy, tangly. So I would go ahead and, yeah, like I said, you know, boil wash it. But it's very pretty. Out. So there you go. There's the wire out no ball spots and so I really hope that that answered the question um, you know if anyone else has any questions about dolls um, you know particularly uh, the Rapunzel dolls because that's what I collect uh, you know shoot me a question on Instagram or here on uh, YouTube and I'll do my best to answer it so I really hope that that helped and so there you go and thank you thank you for the question all right Thank you so much for watching. Bye.